This is Dr. Seelan Parekh, the Fantasy Doctor, answering your questions about sports and injuries. Victor Cruz ruptured his patellar tendon in October when Giants were in the end zone and he caught a pass or attempted to catch a pass and fell like a ton of bricks. Well, what happened after his surgery and is he going to get back onto the playing field? Let's take a look at Woody and understand this a little bit better. So if we look at the skeleton, the quad muscles sit in the front of your thigh right here. When you get down to the knee, you have your kneecap. Now there's a quad tendon that attaches here, but from the bottom of your kneecap to the, bo to the leg bone, there's a tendon known as the patellar tendon. Victor Cruz tore that tendon. It typically will tear right off of the kneecap, but it can tear middle of the, of the tendon or at the attachment of the tendon. This is the most common location, and that's probably where he tore it. What he had in surgery is a reattachment of the tendon back to the bone where it belongs. That will allow him to bend his knee as he should, because without that tendon, the knee cannot be controlled by the quadriceps muscles that live in your thigh. Now, after surgery, he would undergo a, an intensive rehab protocol for months. And most NFL players, in fact, 80% of NFL players with a patellar tendon rupture can get back to the NFL within the year. So I anticipate Victor Pr Cruz to be on the practice field come preseason play. But I just said getting back. I didn't talk about the quality of his play. And that is the part that we have no idea about. A lot of that will have to do with how Victor Cruz's body is able to accommodate to this big injury. We'll find out this summer and this fall. This is Dr. Seelan Parekh, the Fantasy Doctor.